This is Mistakes in the Making. Hello, I'm Matki Dapp, and I'm here to talk about mistakes. You know, when you're first starting out in filmmaking, mistakes are how you learn. I've done countless things on set or in pre-production or in post-production, and I've thought, oh, well, I know not to do that again. And I think making mistakes is part of that learning process. There's been times that I've worked with certain people, even on multiple projects, and then I work with someone else who has way more experience, a better attitude, whatever that might be, and I go, oh, it was maybe a mistake to work with this other person more than once, but now I know, and now I have some better people to work with, or whatever that might be. I want to talk about a very sensitive precious thing to me uh, that I consider my worst mistake, probably as a filmmaker. And I have to talk in veiled things because of NDAs and because we have a very small film community here in the world. And that mistake is that, that and I didn't make it alone. But, but I did make it because I was part of the de decision. And that mistake was trusting someone who I knew was a scoundrel. And I think that is one of those things that we all can get hopeful. We can all say, yeah, but maybe I'm the exception. Maybe this person who is a scoundrel won't be a scoundrel to me. They're saying all these amazing things and they're going to deliver on their promises, but I know deep, deep, deep down that this person is a scoundrel and probably a liar and quite possibly a con artist. And I knew it. I knew it. And I think we all knew it. And we took a chance because we thought it was the best thing for the project. And, you know, the lesson turned out to be that, hey, scoundrels are scoundrels and they're going to do awful things and you are going to suffer. And I suffered a lot because of it. Uh, you know, I mean, a lot is relative, but it was the most painful thing that I believe I've ever been through as a filmmaker. And what came out on the other side, hopefully, is that I will be very cautious when making decisions in the future. I'll be very cautious when forming relationships with people and looking at how this will affect my future and, and just having a more specific lens with which to view very precious decisions. And as a filmmaker, you know, mistakes are something that you will use to shape your, your person and your career and learning from those mistakes. And I, I think there are some things that you can't, you can't know without experience. You can know in your brain, but until you've gone through it, it's really hard to know that a mistake is a mistake uh, and know that something that you're learning from is at the time. Yeah. And I don't know, because I, I'm, this is something that has happened to me in recent, uh, you know, in the last several years. And so I still don't know if I have learned from that mistake and I hope so. I know a lot of other things I've done in life and in, in film in the film industry I've learned from. Um, so yeah, that is a big thing. It's just knowing who to trust, trusting your gut, trusting your instincts and trying to make good decisions. And then, you know, be good 
people. Be good to each other. Because eventually the scoundrels of the world will run out of runway and they will be grounded. And that is the thing that I hope for. Uh, Sometimes the scoundrels continue to scam people and they continue to do it over and over and over again. But my hope is that eventually we can shed light on these people and we can find good relationships and healthy relationships and we can all grow together and find ways to move forward in this world in a positive way. That is my story on mistakes. Thank you. You've been listening to Mistakes in the Making. If you have your own mistake that you've made while in the film industry and you want to let others know so they don't make the same mistake, reach out to us at contact at bonsai.film and we'll take it from there. You can also reach out to us on social media at underscore bonsai creative on Instagram and Twitter. And you can search for us on Facebook at bonsai creative. You can also visit our website where we have industry insights and links to all of our podcasts and so much more at www.bonsai.film. And thank you for listening.